Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another edition of Things We Have at Home, but Different, aka Nick and Allie Eat McDonald's in Other Countries. Yes, we are very excited to be doing our next edition here in Slovenia. That's right, and quick disclaimer, we got a lot of comments on the last video, which thank you for watching. We understand that this is not representative of Slovenian cuisine, and so far we have loved Slovenia. However, we're ready to eat. So, we've got the McCountry, which is a pork sandwich. We also have the Sofia, which is a double stacked chicken breast sandwich. We've got something they call American fries, which look like seasoned fries, but they're not wedges like they were in Croatia. Mm -hmm. We've also got something that me and Nick are both very interested in, which is fried chicken. Uh, a couple of variety of sauces that we're gonna try. Devil sauce, which is like a Tabasco, sour cream sauce, and then a curry sauce. And because Slovenia is so well known for their desserts, we got something from the Met Cafe, a donut. <laughs> I want to try some of the sauces. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Which one do you want to go first? Well, let's try the fry by itself first. Their website kind of made it sound like this was the classic McDonald's fry. I don't I like that. these a lot. All right, let's go for the sauce. Which one do you want? Um, let's try the curry. Mm, I love curry sauce. I'm a big, big curry sauce guy. Mmm, okay. So I definitely that is curry sauce. get some of that. Now it's much sweeter mm -hmm. and more sugary, mm -hmm. but I get some of that curry worst type mm, flavor like, yeah. like you can get in Northern Germany. Okay, that's good. Okay, sour cream sauce. Curry's good. They said that this is like, I think this is the Slovenian like favorite dipping sauce yeah. for fries. Uh, apologies, we can't remember the name. We'll. Uh, Put it here. Yeah, the exact name, but I know it's just a sour cream sauce. It's very thick. Okay. It's very creamy. It's very light on flavor. I wouldn't yeah. say that it's. I like that it's not so sour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Devil sauce. Yeah. I don't really like things with the word devil in them. <laughs> Tabasco. But it's it's a it's Tabasco brand. I wonder if it's gonna be like a buffalo sauce. It kind of looks like that. Mm -hmm. It smells like it. It's not though. It's not. Mm, it is spicy. And I can taste some of that signature Tabasco yeah. kind of It flavor. is spicy, man. It hits you in the back of the throat. Ooh, so I wonder. Take a little bite of that. Take a little bite of the cream. <laughs> I want to try the Mick Country. Okay. So this Mick Country is basically a pork burger. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, two patties, so I don't I don't know what that means. It doesn't look like a pork chop. I don't know if it's like... A sausage, maybe? Kind of like a sausage. Yeah, but we're going to see. It's. Uh, I think it's got like a peppercorn sauce on two, it, too. Dropping lettuce. Yeah, two patties looks like kind of a peppercorn sauce, American cheese, and then some cabbage. So, here we go. I like that a lot. Which is it's shocking because you said this was the one that you were like least interested in. But that is really, really good. It almost um, tastes like, like a breakfast sandwich. Yeah. It's very light considering it's pork. I like that. Okay. You, yeah, that's good. Another bite? It's good. We'll come come back to it later. Let's go chicken. Let's break it up. Alright. You grab your piece. I'm a I'm a drummy fan. Are they no. all drummies? No. Oh no, there's some wings in there. So they're like straight up just like wings. So, I'm not sure about Slovenia, but in the USA, we have plenty of fried chicken places. Like, But McDonald's is not notorious for a fried chicken. And I could not see McDonald's in the USA doing a bone-in fried chicken. Me neither. KFC has that on lockdown. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I just wonder what the competition looks like here in Slovenia. I'm gonna grab from this end, actually. Okay, that's good. I mean, it's fried chicken. Like It's kind of greasy. Yep. Oh, yeah, fast food fried chicken. I'm sure it's so pretty to watch me eat this on camera. I use the, uh, the put the full wing in your mouth and shave the meat off method. 
Mm. Man. Okay, that's good. That was good. Um, I'm ready for my Hot Ones audition. Sean Evans, give me a call. All right, okay. now, what is this called? This is called the... The Sophia. Sophia. This is what I'm most excited about. So it is two breaded chicken patties, obviously some American cheese. There's something they call the special sauce. What looks like some very good veggie, like lettuce, tomato. Um, and it's like crumbling under my hand. Here, turn it around so people can see the bun. Yeah, oh, and the bun is like a poppy seed. Sesame, sesame seed and poppy seed. Like, oh, and there's fried onions. That's what's falling at the ooh, bottom. Ooh, nice. Mm. All right. Looks like a tall sandwich. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. The chicken is like white meat chicken. Mm. I didn't really get any like sauce on that bite. I think the double American cheese on there, a little unnecessary. It's throwing me off a little bit. It's it's kind of overpowering. Mm -hmm. But like all I'm tasting is cheese. This is probably my least favorite thing we've tasted so far. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's bad. I don't hate it. So I'll let you have that because you really liked that. Oh, you know, whatever. And then. Thank you. All right, we're gonna eat this and then we'll come back for the donut. Which sauce was your favorite? I was about to go back. I like the curry, but it's too sweet. Mm -hmm. The sour cream might be my favorite one. I appreciate how generous they are with the veggies on these though. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, what is the nutritional density of some of these veggies? questionable, but the generosity, appreciated. I guess maybe this is specific to Europe, I don't know, like if you're in other European countries, let us know, but they have the like master series in Croatia, it was called the Maestro. 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 But here they have the Master Series, so I think maybe it's something that McDonald's may be running as a series in Europe. Or we haven't been home in a while. They maybe. could be doing something back there, too. If you work at McDonald's, let us know. <laughs> the Aftermath. So, I think one thing that we want to start doing is occasionally if not every time getting a dessert because yes. desserts are big in Europe we've noticed that there are a lot of variety of desserts on at least the two countries McDonald's list we went to and yeah. we didn't get one in Croatia so we had to get one while we were here in Slovenia big variety so we got a donut and it looks like it's maybe like a chocolate chip donut like a vanilla donut with chocolate chips I wonder if it's got oh. any kind of filling oh it feels soft it's got this whole bottom is chocolate covered. Mm -hmm. It's very soft. Cheers. I knew there'd be a filling. So it's chocolate filled. It's not a glazed donut. It's just kind of like a regular <laughs> standard donut, but chocolate on the bottom, chocolate drizzle on the top, filled with chocolate. It's so soft, it's delicious. I would have never imagined a donut that good coming out of a fast food restaurant. Man. Like. All right. Where's yours? Go get your own. I know, right? Mmm. That's uh. I'll take one more small bite. Oh. That's really good. Dang. <laughs> Man, we may have to get another one of these. Mm -hmm. Man, or that's not. really good. That's probably a thousand calories. Really well executed. I am impressed with this. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what was your favorite item that we ate? I literally just ate it. It was that donut. <laughs> that donut was fire. That donut was really good. How about you? 
I kind of want to say the Mick Country. He's a savory person. I'm a sweet person, so this makes sense. You are a sweet person. I would say that it it didn't taste nearly as fresh as maybe what we experienced in Croatia. Overall, what what do you think? What where do you put this? One out of ten. One to ten. Mm-hmm. Thought you were saying my rating's one out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could give it a zero too if you wanted, but. I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. I enjoyed some things. I really liked seeing some of the differences mm -hmm. from home, but to me, this was on par with what I have seen from a traditional McDonald's experience and that it, it, it truly, it tasted like something you could get from a fast food joint. Yeah, I would agree. I was thinking five out of 10 um, because there were some items I liked, but I would say like as a majority of a meal, I wasn't like overall super impressed. I will say on the menu alone too, it Excuse seems me. <laughs> <laughs> on the menu as a whole, it seems like it was um, not as diverse as we saw in Croatia uh, to like what the menu is at home. Um, there was maybe only a couple of things that were different than what like the standard American McDonald's menu was. This has been episode number two of Things We Have at Home, but different. And hey guys, if you are enjoying this and want to see more, uh, I'm Nick, she's Allie. We're away together with Nick and Allie. We're on a crazy six month adventure throughout Europe and some other exciting destinations and we're vlogging our entire adventure we put out at least two videos a week so please subscribe and hit the little bell to follow along and to be notified when we drop a new video see you next time